Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and I'm going to take a look at Autodesk Revit Architecture 2010 and specifically bringing in an imported instance, i.e. an AutoCAD drawing, and creating it as a topic surface. Um, I've disabled my project browser on the left hand side so you can uh, see the max of my screen area and I've got my 3D view and I'm on my floor plan site. So how do I bring in my AutoCAD drawing? We go to Insert, Link CAD and I'm just going to browse the location on my desktop that has my topo surface. And this topo surface has 3D contour lines that's being in an AutoCAD format. So it's brilliant to bring in surveys, drawings, etc. I'm going to place this, I'm going to select the level place of that and go to Capital Foundation. I've got various options in here like preserve or invert the colours. I'm just going to open it and bring it in to the actual floor plan. So you can see my AutoCAD drawing. And again, these are the 3D lines that represent the contours, which come from standard um, survey equipment. Uh, just a quick tip, um, if I type in VG on the screen, stands for Visibility Graphics, I can look at my imported categories and you'll see the traditional AutoCAD layers and we can change the colour of these layers. I'm just going to make the contour lines black and blue so they stand out a wee bit better on the uh, screen. That's just a quick tip, if I hit a plan OK, that's it changed. So how do I actually convert these um, into the topic surface in Revit? We'll go to Massing and Site tab, we'll go to Topo Surface. We've got lots of different options. We can place points. I showed this in an uh, earlier um, video on YouTube, but um, what we're going to do is create from import and we're going to select an instance. And our instance obviously is our AutoCAD drawing. We then pick the layers that we want to use, or in this case I'm deselecting the ones I don't want. So they're my contour layers, um, my major and minor contour layers in there. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see it'll rationalize the site and uh, put in levels. I'll create my topo surface as soon as I hit finish surface. So you can see that's actually being uh, created quite easily in there. Again, I'm going to my, my visibility graphics and um, I can actually take these imported categories off very easily if I don't want to see them. So that's just my plain topo surface. But I might want to use um, some of the conditions from my 2D drawing. So, if I take this back to wireframe, I'm going to use this building pad uh, because I want to change the actual um, topo surface in here, split it out. So let's go to split surface, pick up our surface, and you see the context dual ribbon will come up. So I've got my various options in here. So I can start to pick lines. Um, you can use your tab key, it might necessarily go all the way around. You have to be careful, it might hook into a contour line. So um, I can just pick them up individually. So if I go pick lines lines will turn magenta, pick it and hit finish and I now have two surfaces. So what happens if I want to change the levels here? Well let's take a quick look at this and again you can see it in the 3D view. I'm going to select that surface I've just split out. I'm going to go to edit surface and I'm going to pick up all the levels and say let's change that elevation say to 1250. I'm going to hit enter and you'll see the surface levels have changed and finished the surface out. So that's a flat surface in there 1250 but I want my other surface to knit in against this so I can select my surface, edit, it's my larger surface. Again I don't need to be careful about the selection of uh, my levels, I've picked a lot of levels that are outside the building area because this is a great tool in uh, Revit we can use the filter and we can say let's only use the boundary points and not the interior points and it will filter them out. So I can type in my elevation of 1250 and again it will knit in against it and finish the surface off. So you can see in there I've got my flat building pad surface and I've got my existing surface knitting into it. So let's just see that in a quick section view. Let's go to the view. Let's create a section. Let's drag that section line out slightly double click on it, we go to our section view drag it out, again we can use our VG for visibility graphics we can just take out those AutoCAD entities in there so again you can see my actual surface in there thanks very much